Alcohol infused cakes and cupcakes have been a growing trend over the years, but Cake Buzz takes this trend to a whole new level. And today we're going to turn one of my favorite cocktails into a hurricane boozy cake. On Eat the Trend, we find the latest food crazes, the hottest hybrids, and the most amazing culinary creations and show you how to make them at home. And I'm here with head cake bartender at Cake Buzz, Sean Allen. Brandy, how you doing? Hey, we are so excited to have you here today. Tell us what makes Cake Buzz different than other companies out there. Cake Buzz is different because I take your favorite drink. What's your drink? Let me cake it. My favorite cocktail is a hurricane cocktail. Can we make that? We can make that. Let's do it. All right, so what's the first thing that we need to do? Okay, so let's put in the dry ingredients, put the flour in. And we're using cake flour. Why are we using that one today? Cake flour, they blend it a little different than standard flour so that it'll help make your cake a lot more fluffier. And lighter. And All lighter. Right. Yeah, so we're going to take the sugar. What's your favorite cake to make at Cake Buzz? Um, a new one. Anything <laughs> new, that's my favorite. Okay, so we're going to add bacon powder and we're going to add some salt. All right, and I'll give this a good whisk, but tell us about these cakes. How did you come up with Cake Buzz? I came up with Cake Buzz uh, after my mom died. I, I needed something to kind of uh, relax a little bit. So I took several pound cake recipes from my mom, and then I took old rum cake recipes, so I decided to blend them together and come up with something that nobody has, which is Cake Buzz. All right, so we have our dry ingredients. So now let's add the cream. Okay, I don't, I, yeah, I don't like to, I like to get all my goodies out oh. there, you know. <laughs> this is like hugs, you know, you gotta get all your hugs. You know? <laughs> Can't Thank be stingy with them hugs. And our melted right. butter? Yeah, and our melted butter. So Brandy, we finna, a storm finna come through. We're gonna let you go ahead and pour the So we're the adding the fruit. alcohol now. We got some passion fruit rum. Okay. Brandy's gonna put us a, she's gonna put a half ounce of that. Okay. Did so you smell passion it? Passion fruit rum. Did you smell it? It smells so good. Yes, okay. So basically we're getting all the flavor from that hurricane cocktail in the alcohol. Yes, yes. Okay, that's why these are called boozy cakes. I've had them before. Yeah, these Better are. Better have a DD when you have this cake. No, 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 you'll get an EUI. EUI, what? Eating under the influence. <laughs> oh my gosh. And some lime vodka. And some lime. Mmm, and Contro. Contro. That's where that orange comes in from the hurricane. That's right. And tres leches. Now, why are we using a cream liqueur? We're using the tres leches liqueur because we're going to use that to add additional cream mm -hmm. to it, which is going to help bind all your alcohol together. So, so we got to oh. put, oh. put the eggs egg, in there. Eggs next. Okay, so go ahead and mix it on a um, slow. Yeah. Move it around. Okay. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then we're gonna add our red food coloring. Yes. And you know, I've seen those blue hurricanes out there, but I just love the traditional southern hurricane with the passion fruit, the orange, and the lime. Give this a good mix. Okay, so we're gonna mix it now for two minutes. All right, how does that look? Looks good. And now it's time to put it into our cake it's tin. It's time to put it in the cake tin. So you wanna make sure you use Pam or something similar to that that has flour in it so that you don't have to use. If you use a, a normal one, then you'd have to go back and flour the pan after that. So mm -hmm. this makes it easy for you. Save you some time. Spray it in. All right. I'll let you pour and I'll turn. I love this teamwork. Oh, that is so good right looking. There. That cake is so riveny. That's your hurricane. How long are we gonna put it in the oven for? We're gonna put this in the oven for 45 to 60 minutes. We're gonna use a skewer after about 45 minutes. You're gonna stick the skewer in there. If, it, if it's dry, take it out. If it's a little tacky, put it back in and wait another five or 10 minutes. All right, great. Oh my goodness, Sean, this cake looks so good. I cannot wait to dig right in. Yeah, you smell that right out the oven. Just, <sighs> Smells like the passion fruit, really sweet. Yeah. But we're gonna have to make the glaze. We're gonna start with uh, some powdered sugar. And now our butter. Yeah, pour your butter, just pour a little bit. So go ahead and whisk that in. All right. So now we're gonna add the liquor. Add so we're adding lime. more lime vodka. More lime vodka. Wow. This is a strong hurricane. This is a, this is a category five right here we're working <laughs> with. Oh, the passion fruit. Some passion fruit. fruit. Rum. Okay, we're gonna add some Cointreau to it. So every time you make one of your Cake Buzz cakes, it has alcohol in the cake and in the glaze? And in the glaze. And? The you gotta put the alcohol in all the right places. That's like going to a club and there's no music. <laughs> well, that's why Cake Buzz is so different because so many places just infuse a little bit of alcohol. That's right, so go ahead and uh, you're gonna have to whisk this kind of a lot because you gotta get the, the butter and the liquor to break down, so. All right, Sean, I need your muscles in here. Okay, I'm gonna flex on you. <laughs> and then tell us about the garnishes, because your cakes not only taste good, but they look beautiful. Okay, yeah, so we got a variety of garnish here. You know, it represents uh, New Orleans, so we got some, uh, some citrus, pineapple, oranges, and some lime, and we got the cherries. Mm. You have to taste. Okay. There you go. Oh, thank you. Whoa. Yeah, that's a serious hurricane right there. That tastes so good. Isn't that nice? 
Mmm, okay, I'm dying to taste okay. it all together. I usually start in the middle and I work my way out to the sides and I just twirl it around like that. We're gonna just keep turning, Randy. It looks so good. Keep turning. Mm. This, this particular batch turned out a little thicker, so mm -hmm. we're just gonna smooth it around, so. Oh, I see, and then just whatever excess kind of falls to the sides. Yeah. I cannot wait to make this for my friends. I feel like this is the kind of cake that everyone's going to love because instantly. Let's garnish it. Okay. Yeah, this is a drink, so don't forget, this is a drink in a cake form. So, you know, some drinks, they put a piece of pineapple on the top. Sean, this looks so good. Can we finally try it already? Yes, we can. Okay. Now, now wait, 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 oh. before you get in there now, you know, usually uh -huh. the normal protocol is you let this sit a whole day. Really? So that the alcohol frosting can soak and saturate into the cake. Oh, I can't wait for that. That's Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I, see I already got his forks and yeah, everything, Sean. I see. You're pretty ambitious with that slice there. Ooh. I'll okay. let you go first. I gotta get a little bit of that frosting see. in there. Mmm. Mmm. That's nice. Huh? That's a good piece. Oh my gosh. That is like taking a shot of alcohol. But it's sweet. It's moist. The passion fruit. The orange. Yeah, that's really decadent. Wait. I gotta get one more piece. I'll get one with you. Mmm, this is so good. Yes, that is good. Oh, thank you so much for teaching us how to make a hurricane boozy cake. I can't wait for you to come back. Oh, thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm Brandy, and we'll see you next time. We eat the trend on Pop Sugar.